Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions of data science for engineers course of week 1 assignment. So let's uh, get into the video. The first question, the function ls in R is used to. So the answer for first question is option 4. That is, it is used to list all files in our working directory. That is, fourth option. And moving on to second question, consider the following code. So they have given a code and they are asking that if a room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius is given as input to the above code, then what is the output that is displayed? So the, the output will be the room is warm, enjoy the stay. So second option is the correct answer for second question. And moving on to third question. Again, they have given a code and saying that consider the code below to create a data frame, city data. It is a data frame. So choose the correct answer based on the output expected on running the below code. So they have given a code again. So the answer for third question is first option. In the column weather in data frame city data, rain is replaced by snowy. That is first option. Friends, these are probable answers. Maximum, uh, I think maximum are correct answers. Uh, even 100% correct answers. But if you have any doubt uh, or any, uh, you are feeling any doubt, please comment in the comment section. So I will try to discuss and uh, clear your doubt. And fourth question, consider the code given below. Choose the correct command to access the variable cloudy. So the answer for fourth question is first option city weather of 4 2 the first option is the correct answer for fourth question moving on to fifth one the answer for fifth question is fourth option b is a matrix consisting of all elements of a excluding the second row and sixth question the parameter collapse is in the function page the answer is second option add space in between two strings in seventh question they have given a code snippet uh, they are asking that if we supply 4 as an argument to the function find function after executing the above code the result displayed would be so they are, they are again asking the output so for seventh question the answer is the numbers 1 4 9 16 that is second option and eighth question the operator modulus in modulus is used for so the answer for eighth question is third option identifying if an element belongs to a vector and ninth one the output of compiling and executing following code in R would be they are asking the output again so for this we will get the output the term green apple printed four times. I have executed this and I have got the answer option four. And final question of this assignment that is 10th one. The next statement in our programming is useful for. So it is useful for skipping the current iteration of a loop without terminating it. We just skip the particular iteration and we'll, uh, it will not terminate. It just skip the, the particular iteration we mentioned and again performs the loop. So first option is the correct answer for 10th question. So friends these are the solutions for the 10 questions that I have asked in data science for engineer week 1 course. So if you feel the video is helpful for you please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubt please feel free to ask in the comment section. So I will try to reply to those valid queries. For further videos uh, regarding uh, this course and also the other courses, please uh, stay tuned to our channel and you can refer our channel other videos for different type of courses that I have uploaded in it. So until then, uh, thank you. Goodbye.